This is Math 98, practice test one. This is problem number seven. And on this problem, we're supposed to graph this. And this isn't an equation, it's, it's an inequality. So notice what it says, this left side is greater than 15. So if I plug in xy values, in order to make this true, this has to evaluate to something greater than 15. So um, let me think about it. Let me treat it like it is equal. That's gonna help me find the boundary point. And in this type of equation, where x and y are the same side in this form, it's really convenient to use that intercept method for graphing it. You could solve it for y. That would be OK. It's a little bit more work, I think. So what I'm going to do is just say, if x is 0, plug in 0 for x. 5 times 0 is 0. So notice what I'm left with is negative 3y compared to 15. I want it equal to it. So negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. So I know my boundary is going to go through that point, 0, negative 5. I'm going to do the same thing with the y. Plug in 0 for y. 3 times 0 is 0. So now I have 5x compared to 15. I want them equal. I want to know when, where they're equal, what the boundary is. So 5 times something is 15. That's a 3. Great. So I have two points I can graph. 3, 0, and 0, negative 5. And 3, 0 is 1, 2 here. 0, negative 5 is here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now I have to be really careful about my symbol. This is strictly greater than. So it, the points on this line are when it's equal to. It, that's not true in this case. This is, this is strictly only greater than that. So instead of a solid line, I'm going to use a dashed line. That kind of shows, it doesn't kind of show, it shows that that is the boundary, although the boundary is not part of the solution. So now it becomes, what side do I shade? It's either all these points above this line that make this true, or all these points below this dashed line that make this true. And what I'm gonna, how I'm going to figure it out is I'm just going to test a point and see if it works. So I'm going to test 0, 0. I'm going to plug it in. So I plug in 0 for x, I get 0. 5 times 0. I plug in 0 for y, I get 0. 3 times 0. So the question I'm asking myself is, does... Uh, that's a question mark. A 0 minus 0 equals something that's greater than 15, and it doesn't. 0 is not greater than 15. 0, 0 doesn't work. That means that everything on the same side is 0, 0 doesn't work. So all the points that make that equation true are on the other side of the line. Everything below that line. I split the plane in, in two pieces, and I shaded the part that makes this true. Any point I pick out of here, plug it in, this side will be greater than that side.